Very bad idea. That's the best way to kill yourself. Man, we messing with magnets now? My name's Aaron. I'm an astrophysicist. And uh, in the process of becoming an astrophysicist, I unfortunately had to learn quite a bit of physics. So electricity and magnetism are some things that I've studied uh, in my time. And I believe that they will be pertinent for watching this trailer of Fast and Furious 9? F9? Furious 9? Whatever it's called. So uh, Vin Diesel here has just turned a dial, unfortunately not to 11, only up to five or six there. Uh, he's turning on an electromagnet. And the idea here is fundamentally it works the same as a magnet does. So I've got one over here. A magnet has a magnetic field that will attract it to certain things that interact with magnets. Um, there are some things that exist in the universe that do not have any interaction with magnets. Uh, we normally call these non-ferrous materials, and things that do interact with magnets are ferrous materials. Right now, it looks to me like he is turning on this electromagnet, creating a strong magnetic field, and pulling these two trucks towards his car. I'm on board with that. I think the strength that we're seeing here is totally absurd. If you deal with magnets in real life, one of the things that you'll notice is that Magnets are incredibly strong at close distances, but incredibly weak at far distances. So uh, in reality, most magnetic fields that you could actually generate with any sort of real technology would have absolutely no effect on anything even more than, let's say, a meter or two away. We're good up to this point, I think. It's, it's beyond what is possible, but it's not totally absurd. Crank it all the way up. This bit, though, where he turns the dial and the trucks fly backwards. I have a much bigger problem with that one. So here's a little experiment you can do. Uh, I've got this magnet here. It's uh, relatively powerful and it can attract the metal. Watch what happens when I turn this magnet around and reverse its polarity. It also attracts the metal. So the problem here is that the reason that metal attracts to magnets is that the ferrous metals like iron or other variants of iron, uh, they have specific constructions of their atomic structure. So if you want to know more about magnets, it's a bit complicated. The idea is basically inside of everything are atoms, which are made of you know protons and electrons. So the protons and electrons, they have these magnetic properties to them individually. They can be going in lots of different directions. If all of your subatomic particles, like those proton and electrons, have their magnetic properties aligned, then the greater structure that is made of those things will have a magnetic property to them. The trouble is, is that it will sort of orient itself, it will align its structure so that it's always pulled towards a magnetic field. So there's no practical way to repel iron or steel, probably in this case with those trucks, with a magnet. There are some metals that exist that do have a repulsive property. They're a little bit more complicated. They're called diamagnets. And in the right conditions, you can actually see a repulsive uh, interaction going on there where you can be pushed away from magnetic fields. However, that depends on what the structure of the metal is. So unless uh, Vin Diesel here is an alchemist and he can magically change the structure of these trucks just through the force of his will, uh, I don't think he could possibly do this. Okay, so there's another clip here where they're driving past a um, appliance store. If you've got a strong enough magnetic field to pull all those appliances out of the windows like that, you're definitely gonna hit some people with debris. Uh, if you're going by a store that's got knives or something, you are just gonna pin cushion someone in between you and the car. So I think that's uh, a little irresponsible, but you know, I don't know the context that's happening here. Uh, you can also see pretty clearly that one of the people in the store gets nailed in the head by something. So uh, maybe they already did commit some murder. Something else here though, is that if you have this strong magnetic field, anything that is magnetic is going to be pulled forward. So if anyone has some jewelry that might be magnetic on them, maybe earrings or uh, rings, um, that is getting yanked right off their body. Uh, if someone has a pacemaker, uh, as this car drives by, they are going to uh, annihilate that thing and cause some <laughs> pretty bad uh, cardiac responses. And actually, you know, if you look at this, all this stuff gets pulled out of the window, there's a very clear refrigerator standing right behind this woman that doesn't move a bit. Man, we messing with magnets now? Uh, when you make a magnetic field like you do with this electromagnet here, it is 
moving outwards in a mostly you know spherical fashion, it's surrounding you and going in every direction. So you should be having magnetic interactions with everything around you. So not just the specific cars that you want to pull in, but you know, manhole covers, doors, everything. And I don't have any idea how you could control that such that you could just willy nilly make your car be attracted to something. There's not a good reason why uh, if you can just flip the car easily like this in this case and blast through a building, why it wouldn't have been attracted towards other things in that earlier scene there. If you're thinking like X-Men and you're thinking Magneto, that one flies for me because he has conscious control of things. He can point his hand towards something and say, hey, I'm gonna make this thing move with my magnetic uh, powers. You don't have that kind of control with a device like this. And you can see, if you look in the very first bit of the clip here, uh, this thing is basically just like screwed into his armrest, and all he can do is go left or right with that control, either make it apparently repulsive or attractive. He changes the polarity of it. Unless he has like some sort of neural link here that allows him to telepathically tell it to, oh, attract that thing over there. That sort of fine-tuned control is not really, uh, not really reasonable. <laughs> Yeah. It's good to be back. Okay, and so I I think from watching the trailers, the the big the big goal that they've got here is to either flip or capture this big truck. I guess if you like shove the cars in exactly the right way, you could get the repulsive the repulsive force of these electromagnets to cause them to start to flip. Uh, I don't know that the orientation of the cars in this scene really makes sense for that. The, the moment that I'm looking at here, there's two cars that are sort of like flanking the truck. And if they both had their electromagnet set to repulsion, um, they would just cancel each other out because they're pushing on either side. If you had like a car behind the truck that got underneath it somehow that I can't see right here, that, you know, turned its electromagnet up to 11 and was able to start repulsing the truck. Sure, you could start to flip it, I guess. Trying to maneuver that would be nearly impossible. But if you ignore the fact that uh, unless this thing is made entirely of uh, diamagnetic material and you just accept that you can magically make magnets repulse metal, and if you had a magnet that got underneath this truck that was super, super powerful, sure. We supposed to stop that? Hold on! Yes! <laughs> I like the idea here. It's pretty cool. Um, I'm pretty forgiving about nonsense science in movies. They have a fun premise. Uh, I think using electromagnet to propel things, manipulate things around uh, is very neat. I think that they've gone pretty willy-nilly with the actual practicality of it. Uh, it sounds like something where they thought, wouldn't it be cool if, and they said yes. Hold on a second. I just forgot the end clip for that trailer has them going into space. We can't not talk about that. That's like way more my expertise, but there's not a whole lot to say yet. They're on that plane, they got the rocket there, they got the duct tape and the suits. Very bad idea, that's the best way to kill yourself if you wanna try and uh, <laughs> fly into space like that. Uh, but you know, we'll see. For more experts reacting to your favorite movies, TV shows and games, stick with IGN.